welcome everybody to Mass Effect the Red, well, the Legendary Edition. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Your friend, the neighborhood podcaster, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, all the jazz like that. I've just noticed. If you look, look at the helmet. Look at the helmet. Look at that. The thing fucking changes on the. Uh, oh, that's that's a neat little detail right there in graphics. Little visor change. Oh. Oh, we're diving back in the more of the Mass Effect. You guys, um, <laughs> it's doing okay on the channel. But I'm going to still keep playing it because I enjoy it as a son of a bitch. But the remastered Mass Effect is cool. This is awesome. We're continuing our adventure in space. Doing all sorts of shit like that. Where the hell are we at in here? Okay. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Um, the... F Every time, stop! Oh my God! You saved the corn. She gave you evidence linking the area. Let's go to the council. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I have points. What the hell? I'm level three. All right. Let me know where we're going. You're gonna die. Run! Run! Alright. Ambassador. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard. Hey, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait. The 212? Oh, no. Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry what the hell's for going your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Narali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't just wipe away the sweat. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. The expensive bar? I just bar. want to give my wife a proper funeral. Right. And the respect she deserves. I, I, I can relate to that. I can relate. My girlfriend just walks in. I can relate to that. I mean, if, her, if she was a Marine, and then she would... <laughs> And everybody, she's just looking at me. <laughs> oh, the thought of her being a Marine. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, I've been smacked! I would want her ashes. Okay, the expensive bar. Are you the expensive? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came oh. on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed to answer? Um... I'll be going. Now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. I, I'm just trying to go to the expensive bar over here. Ah! Hello, peoples. Hello. 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 This girl just always looks the same. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities make My quite goodness. a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. I'm here for Shamash. A man Shamesh. named Shamesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Stop stealing the corpus. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Mm -hmm. Serviceman Narali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. because she was turned into a robot Respectful. that was on the spikes Serviceman that no Batia one's mentioning may save about? More lives in death than she did in life. Ooh. I'll tell Samantha. Yeah, you should tell the man yourself. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Oh my god, I did not expect to grab the dude. Oh! 
Okay. It's Williams, thank God I brought you on. Shamesh! Shamesh, Shamesh, This is not the area I needed to go down in. Hello? Oh, here we go. Fuck off. Um. Ah! Pistol! Shamesh! Fuck it, I can't ever run on this shit. Jesus Christ, Shepard. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Hello. Oscar? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Uh, this is important. Oh. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Nothing. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, that was... Let's not start a fight. God, I keep pressing that fucking button. Uh, there's even the alliance return his wife's buddy. Four out of twenty? Jesus. Oh, assignments and missions. Ah! Mm. Return to tower. I don't know where this Welcome is. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal One. I made a there mistake, Cortana. There are points of interest here, including the Citadel embassies and CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit thank to the you. Citadel. I'll try. God. I hate taking these transport things all over the place. Presenting location. Citadel Tower. There we go. Jesus, that's a real pain in the ass. You arrived at Citadel? I would hope so. Fair enough. Alrighty, Captain. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Oh shit, let's go. Eden Prime was let's a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize yes! the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Mm, Listen to bad. what you're saying. This Saren wants to bring bad. back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. It's valid. We proved Saren valid. the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. 
A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue yep. agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A sure Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. Uh, send me. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for what? the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Got a point there. Got a point there, motherfucker. What are you gonna do about that? Nothing! Nothing! Oh, that's what I thought. Commander Shepard, step forward. Yes. Oh, shit. Are we doing it? Oh, we're doing it. Shit, we got an audience. Welcome, welcome. Come fuck me in my quarters later. Ah, Mass Effect. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol. The embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, <laughs> instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Damn. Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm Thank honored, you. Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. We did it! We're a Spectre! We're a Spectre! Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Mass Effect 1, become a Spectre. Yeah! I expected your ambassador to be more grateful. Back my head. He didn't even thank you. Nah. He's got a lot on his oh, mind. Yeah. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Spectre bonus! Yeah! And we got like 600 bucks for that. Fuck yeah! I got a bunch of money for this. What are those cherry trees? I bet all those cherry trees aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. Alright. Oh, someone's thinking ahead, I suppose. More location. Seasick, right? Yeah. Yeah! CSEC Academy. Oh, no, stop. Spot. What does that do? Oh, it puts on my helmet. I don't need a helmet right now. What am I doing? There we go. Um. Ooh. Definitely first aid. Cool engineer charm. Oh. Hell yeah! Look at all that! Mm. I 
have no idea what I'm doing right now. Uh, squad. Overkill. Mm, Garrett's my man. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me no what problem. you've got. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. Oh, ho, 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 the rare stocks! I have... Not enough money for this shit. Oh my god. Um. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't have money for this. Ship with the crew. Meet him at the Lion Star and convey access. Oh, all right, that's fair. Is this where we need to go? I I I don't know what that says. Hello. We're just chilling. In other news, ExoGenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Directions. I think the scan. Oh, you the dude I need to talk to. Thank you. Hello? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Too, Anything I can help you with? Mm. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Oh, see you around, Commander. See you around, man. Okay. I saw this is where I needed to go. I I don't know where the fuck I'm going. It's even bigger than it. How will you know? I got a tour. One of five hundred to see the ascension from the inside out. Really? Took almost six okay, hours, and we only saw one tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. Matriarch Ladanya, you met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. Huh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. Very true. She's got almost as much firepower as the rest of the Asari fleet. I think that guy's flirting over there. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. 
I think I have made a mistake, people. We gotta get out of here. This is not, this is not like two, three episodes of just being in the fucking Citadel. Jesus Christ. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Hmm. I mean, if there's nothing I can do, there's nothing I can do, my friend. at the academy it's good busy though i can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards yeah it's the busiest station on the citadel you'll never get bored okay Feel lucky? We should visit the casino over in the Lux. In breaking news, no, I'm not Chairman just, Burns just of the Parliament anybody. Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Oh my God! Every time I go in an elevator, it's a new side mission. What the shit? That is all I'm gonna put it on there. I definitely think we gotta get the hell out of here, though. Where the fuck am I? This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulation. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. <laughs> stubborn jelly? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This I'm, one will uh, not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. This is, uh, I see the Hanar slightly aspect. terrifying. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. It's gonna now, achieve him for me, that. I should report to my superiors. Okay. I, I... I, 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 I don't know what to say about that jellyfish motherfucker. <laughs> I, I really do not. Alright, head of the C-Sec. Jesus Christ, we just got lost. 24 minutes in this one. Stop taking your fucking gut out! Okay, here we go. The yeah, elevator that we walked past. Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. 
Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. The Extranet. I'm guessing that's the internet. What happened? Why do I have a bald smart on the back of my head? Below? Hello. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and really? quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had mm, one shot. That's right. It came and we went. We knew about this already. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist... Yeah, well, we're gonna find out in the <laughs> real Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop it. We have one more. All right. Name. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her, see what she knows. Her name's Liara, Doctor Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck. <laughs> your actions reflect on humanity. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, yeah. Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Yeah, I will. Remember, you were There's a human long think. before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need me. Let's go. Normandy. Oh, that's not how we get on the ship. All right. Normandy is ours. It's been too long since I Mass Effect 3. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop it. Well said, Commander. 
captain would be proud. Man, I give a hell of a speech. I don't want to say it. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. Who does we can't fail. Speech. Yes, sir. Damn, ship it. Damn, ship it. Damn, sir. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Carry on, Presley. Sick son of a bitch. All right, all right. Commander, something you need? I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing what? I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. No. Okay, I've got Vrolix Syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! Jeez. It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bone. Jesus! Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, see ya. Wow, so the fascinating. Joker, you're fucking awesome, dude. Jeez. That's cool. Like, it, I, I can't even put on the words how cool. Okay, where the hell did we go to? Ah, here we go. Oh, hello, galaxy. Zoom out. Holy shit. Uh. Is it Pharaoh's that we gotta go to? Alright, hold on here. Hold on. Where do we gotta go? Tau cluster. All right, so we got a Joker. I I just can't get over the fact like he made me crippled a little bit, but pretty pretty cool. Uh, oh, Armist Tau. There we go. Do we know... 
So we just gotta keep looking in here is what's going on here? So I don't, hmm. I have a strange feeling we're supposed to go on that one other one. Damn, this is not a problem mass effect, but like... Oh, pressure hazard. Wind temperature... Wind, TV, skirt, okay. Planet's surface, it looks like an automated distress beacon. What? Okay, well, let's land. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ. Uh, and then let's add Williams, shall we? I gotta get. Oh, shit. Wait, look, okay, looks at something's ahead. Okay. Hello? Whoa! Alright. 
No, you're not friendly. You're not friendly. What the hell? Pairing. I had a fucking... Oh, I can press B to get out. Oh, I bet it is. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. The These hell? are Admiral Kahoka's men. We need to tell them what happened here. What the hell? Guys, can you tell me what the hell I'm supposed to do here? Now is not the time. Ready. Um Folks, I'm confused. of the men who served in the Emerald Corps. Return to the tower and form the Emerald of their fate. Oh, 
Okay, well, that looks like there's that. Jesus. Who set up a... Yeah. Like, who the hell set up a distress signal like that? Fascinating. Alright, but so it looks like we're going to the planet. Alright, looks looks like we're going back to the what the f I'm more just less confused. Yeah, I'm gonna on this this one. Okay. Folks, we are going on this adventure together, by the way. We are doing it together. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video and if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for some more video games, because we're nearing the end here. Make sure you guys subscribe for some more video games. Dinosaurs, toys, all the jazz like that. Alright. The first fucking planet. Um, let's do... Garrus? Right. Do we not land anymore? some strange readings really strange like off the damn charts it looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone can I mark it on my map We're facing Beetlejuice. Where? Oh, that's lava. Let's go. SpaceX wish they had shit like this. It's weirdly quiet. God, this seems cool. Look at him go. Oh, shit. Die. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. All right, hold on, hold on. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh my god! 
God! Okay. Alright. Alright. Tyron. Who cares? I am not. Not liking what's happening here. Is this a dead end? What the fuck is this? might have been the place we needed to go. Not gonna lie. It's lava. Okay. Here we go. And then here. Jesus! this at all. It's way too quiet. Jesus. Please. I want one of these vehicles. Anybody else? Anybody else wanna fucking go against the big ass tank? I'm down with you, are bitches. Oh shit. Mm. Oh, we're stuck. Oh no, we're stuck. Okay, there we go. This is in fucking insane. Yeah! Why well, have kids in general? When you can have pets, it's gonna put that out there. It's just gonna put that out there. What the hell? I was working. The 
seems easy. Like, way... Oh, God. I swear to God, I'm a good driver. Way too... Way too easy. Oh, God damn it. Cover me. Let's go. God damn it. I said it was easy and then I gotta get out. I'm gonna walk. Oh, that's a rocket. Oh, that's a rocket. Is that...
own ideas. Take the shit out. You guys all rock. And of course, as always, folks, remember, stay creative, everyone.